Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm extremely excited because I finally get to tell you guys about my next big project. Now, if you looked at the thumbnail and you read the title of the video, you already know that I'm gonna be building a miniature jet boat. The one that I ordered is a 12 foot aluminum hull boat and it's a kit. I have to put the, I have to actually put it together and weld it. And you take a donor jet ski and the engine and the pump, you take it out of the jet ski, you put it in the boat. Then you have a little boat that will go 60, 70 miles an hour. It's like a little side by side, but it's made for water. And I've been dying to tell you guys about this for about seven months now. This is the biggest project that uh, I've worked on to date on making stuff. And I got a call today from the shipping company. They're on their way here and let's go out front. We're going to have to unload this off of the truck and get it here in the shop. And you can see here, I have got the shop all cleared up, cleaned out. I don't think I've ever seen it this clean, this much space, all the clutter, everything's gone. So let's head out here, pick this boat up and get it inside here and start working on it. All right, so that was a very hair raising experience and trust me, I got a lot of hair that I can raise. Uh, that was very chaotic. Uh, the 18 wheeler would not fit in the driveway. So we had to unload on the street and I live on a two lane highway and it's very busy. And a police car and a fire truck and an ambulance had to go by with their sirens on. <laughs> All while we've got one lane of traffic block trying to get this thing off of the 18 wheeler, but everybody was safe we got it all done and as you can see here the boat is in the shop all right so last night i was able to get everything up here to the shop i got the pallet unloaded everything uh, taken off the pallet i got that pallet broken down hauled it off to the trash so i'm waiting for my brother to show up he's going to help me with this because it's definitely a two-person job and while i wait for him to arrive i'm going to make a brace that goes right across here on the bottom and that will hold everything into place and nothing will move while we do the welding. And I went to my local metal supply store and I got this big beefy two inch by quarter square tube piece of aluminum and I think this will do the job just fine. So now I need to just cut some supports that are the same angle as the bottom right here and then I can weld this into place. All right, so I've got the brace all made and it's ready to weld in place, but before I can do any welding, I've got to get rid of this protective blue film that is on all of these aluminum pieces. It comes from Jetstream that way and it just protects the aluminum from getting all scratched up.
All right, so I've got the transom tacked to the bottom and I did have to temporarily tack these little support pieces here on the side. Now it says in the instructions to do it in the center, but for some reason the center already came with the hole cut out for the jet pump, so it wasn't possible to tack anything in right here. And that's why I have two separate supports on the sides. So I'm ready to weld the brace in. And if you remember, I pointed out that the distance between the width of the bottom was supposed to be 50 and a half inches and mine was only 50 inches. So I've solved that problem. I've taken two pieces of steel and some clamps and I've clamped them together to kind of compress the bottom. And now as you can see, I've got the width at exactly 50 and a half inches where it's supposed to be. So now I can weld that brace into place. I'm going to try something because when I made this brace, I didn't preheat this metal and it's really thick. The uh, square tube is quarter inch thick. The hull is quarter inch thick and it didn't make very pretty welds. So I'm going to try this out on the brace. I'm going to preheat this before I actually weld it. All right, so I'm very happy with the way that weld turned out. It looks really good. So definitely preheating helped this quite a bit. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and weld the rest of this brace into place. All right, so now that the brace is in place, it's time to work on the nose here. And I need to bring these two pieces together. And I'm gonna do that with some ratchet straps and a clamp. Okay, so this is where I had to turn the camera off and stop recording because my brother and I ran into a pretty big problem. And that problem is no matter what we try, the gap will not close. We've tried for several hours and no luck. So I got on the Facebook mini jet boat builders page, got several suggestions from people on that page. None of those worked. I've talked to a guy that has built 20 of these boats and he gave me some suggestions and none of those have worked. So I've sent an email to Jetstream and they've replied back and I think they figured out what the problem is. Let me show you that right now. Here is the front of the boat and this is the gap we were trying to close and weld up. And if you come down here, you can see that this opening is about 3 eighths of an inch wide. And this was the first giveaway that something was wrong because this is only supposed to be an eighth of an inch wide. In that email, Jetstream wanted me to send them some measurements so that they could verify that this piece was cut correctly at the factory and this piece was not cut correctly. From where the intake cutout starts to where the notch starts is supposed to be 75 inches and this one is 82 and 3 quarters inches. So this notch should be extended all the way up here to where I have that mark. So per Jetstream's instructions, I have taken a straight edge and extended the line to the point where the notch should be on both sides here. And I'm going to cut this out with a jigsaw. All right, so I've got the notch cut out to where it needs to be. And yes, I did cut the brace out because that was one of the things that the guys on Facebook thought might be keeping this from closing up all the way like it was supposed to. And of course that was before I heard from Jetstream. So now that the notch is cut out, I'm going to put the straps back on here and let's see if this thing will close up like it's supposed to. Okay, so I'm very happy because as you can see, the seam is 100% closed all the way up to the top. So now all I need to do is weld this support back in place and I can continue the build process. All right, so in case you're wondering how on earth did I get a part that wasn't cut correctly from Jetstream, here's what happened. Uh, they did some investigating and the bottom is cut on a CNC machine. And while this one was being cut, apparently a bit broke and they just didn't catch it at the factory. So now that the problem's fixed, let's continue building a boat.
Okay, so we got the chines installed with no issues. Next, I need to put the stringers on the bottom, but I've got a problem, and that is these braces that I welded right here against the transom are exactly where the inner stringer needs to butt up against the transom, so I need to cut these out before I can continue. All right, so I've got all of the pieces tack welded into place on the boat, of course, with the exception of the windshield. And I'm gonna do that in a later video because it's just gonna get in the way. I've gotta fully weld the hull, then flip it upside down, fully weld the underneath side, put that big sheet of plastic on back there, and then set it right side up. So if the windshield's on there, it's just gonna make things a whole lot more difficult. So as I said, I'm gonna do that in a later date. And also I've been thinking, I don't have a name for this boat yet. So what, what do you guys think? If you've got an idea for a name for the boat, just let me know down in the comments. I'd be interested to see what you guys come up with because this boat's definitely gonna need a name. And like I said, I don't have any ideas right now. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up because that lets me know what types of videos you guys like to watch. And if you aren't a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you don't miss any upcoming Making Stuff videos. And thanks for watching.